Česti slova. We will now enter into the prize ceremony. And I hope that you have noticed that so far have we only had great female soloists on stage. And we will continue to bring strong female women up here on the stage. Uh, she is, um, surprisingly, she is full of passion. And uh, she is here to read the citation for you. Here is the Swedish Minister of Culture, Mrs. Alice Ba Kunke. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellences, Ladies and gentlemen, questo un momento fantastico e per me un grande onore, eh, eh, grande onore consegnare questo premio propori a Cecilia Bartoli. I love Cecilia Bartoli's work, and I have carried this love with me during different physical and emotional stages of my life. When rejoicing in the beauty of life, when needing to find strength and to meet challenges that I have taken on, when raising my kids and even when giving birth. <laughs> Cecilia Bartoli has a voice given uh, has a voice to gain strength from, to gain strength from. She has an ability to revitalize my senses and to touch my soul. Cecilia Bartoli is a source of inspiration for me and for millions of people around the world. I am therefore extremely delighted to have the great honor of awarding you, Cecilia, with this prize. The Polar Music Prize 2016 is awarded to the mezzo-soprano Cecilia Bartoli from Rome, Italy, with a vocal range of three octaves and a unique ability to live a role with fullness and expression. Cecilia Bartoli has developed song as an art form. She has developed song as an art form. Cecilia Bartoli has spellbound audiences in the world's great opera houses, but she is not content with the well-known repertoire. She has, also, she has also dug deeply into the history of music and presented long lost music from the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries that is completely new to us, to the audience of today. Cecilia Bartoli adds new chapters to the history of music. She adds new chapters to the history of music. And you build bridges between centuries. And Cecilia Bartoli, she deepens, she deepens our understanding of Europe's cultural heritage. Cecilia Bartolos shows us that raised voices can change the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome His Majesty, the King and Cecilia Bartoli.
Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellences, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited. Who? <laughs> it's easy to sing, I have to say. <laughs> Thank you very much for this wonderful prize. I'm deeply honored and I'm very proud. Thank you to the Polar Prize for supporting and promoting the universal values of music. I strongly believe in the power of music, and I'm here to share my belief with all of you. Tu sentach. Grazie, mille grazie. And thank you. Grazie. Dear Cecilia, congratulations. And we would like to end your part of this ceremony by performing, if I may say so, one of your greatest hits, one of the most loved songs for a soprano, Georg Friedrich Händel's Lascia La Spina. You will love it. If you haven't heard it, you will love it, I promise you. And, uh, I spoke earlier about traditions, and in the 16th and 17th centuries, uh, all these great instrumental virtuosos, they toured all over Europe and came to the sitters and amazed the audience. And uh, sitting in the corners, in the street corners, sat the street musicians listening, and they did what musicians always have done and still are doing. They listened, they got inspired, they maybe copied a bit, but they, most importantly, developed it. And we have therefore added a little Stockholm sweetening twist to this aria. I hope that you will uh, enjoy it. And it will be performed by another colleague of yours, which you met in Salzburg just a month ago. Please welcome on stage the wonderful Anne Hallenberg and the folk music group Vesen. Thank you. 
I think uh, a good pop song is something that, you know, it, where it doesn't matter where you're from, even if you don't know the language, that you can like it anyways. Something about it that makes you want to hear it again. I always go by if someone asks me, like, okay, do you like this song? If I want to hear it again, that's basically what it is. Let me hear it again. Play it again. You know, if you get that, ugh. Martin Sandberg, better known as Max Martin, was born in Stockholm, Sweden in 1971. Max got into music at an early age, and when the 90s rolled around, he tried to make a living out of it as a singer and songwriter for the heavy metal band It's Alive. Eventually, the band was signed to the record label Sharon, where he met the producer who was later to become his mentor. My name is Dennis Pop. This here is Max Martin. Under the wings of Dennis Pop, Max learned and developed his skills in songwriting and producing pop music, which in 1998 led to the breakthrough of one of the world's biggest pop stars. I mean, Baby One More Time is special to me because it's, I wrote it, you know, by myself and uh, also what it meant for me. It's more that, actually, the, what it sort of happened after that. Britney Spears' debut single reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100, and today, her first album has sold over 30 million copies. I think that Max's secret is probably something along the lines of the simplest, most effective thing is always the best. He is one of the best creators I've ever met. He just. He just hears stuff. So Together with many of today's greatest pop stars, Max Martin has amassed a total of 22 number ones on Billboard. An important and contributing factor to his success can be traced back to his own career on stage. He is um, extremely detailed when it comes to vocals. I think Max hears the vocals like an instrument. I focus on the vocals. Uh, I spend a lot of time in the recordings, but I think that the fact that I used to be a singer has, has been very helpful for me and for them, that I can sort of understand what they go through and a lot of people are insecure and kind of have to hold their hand through the process. And so just do, coming for ya, I'm coming for ya. I think I want the artist to own the song. Even if you didn't write it, it has to feel like you wrote it, you know? You have to mean it. Even if it's pop music, you have to mean it. Congratulations, Max Martin, on your award. I think you're ingenious. You blow my mind, and I'm super proud of you. I love you so much. Congratulations. You're the best. I'm incredibly proud of what you've achieved. You just keep doing it. No one deserves it more. You are a master. Congrats, Max. Congrats, Max. And you've got a nice rumpa. I mean, there's not a, another person on the planet that is more deserving than, than Max Martin. We love you, brother. Max Martin, well done. Finally, you came up on my level, where you get to win some nice prizes. Uh, who else should win if not Max Martin? All the best and all the success in the future. Well done. So